My name is Kyla Pere. I'm the Education Consultant Smartboard Trainer for Presentation Products, and I'm going to show you how to use and navigate the Gallery tab. The Gallery tab is the second tab right underneath your Page Shorter tab. If I click on it, it'll open it up. What you're mainly looking for is the Gallery Essentials. And the gallery is great because it will quickly help you develop and deliver lessons with really rich graphic detail. You can see down at the bottom that you have thousands of pictures, uh, interactive multimedia, notebook files and pages, and backgrounds and themes. You can choose from any of these and they all come pre-downloaded with notebook software. There are ways that you can find content in the gallery very quickly as well. Up at the top, you have a search terms uh, field. You can actually type in a keyword, much like using uh, an internet search engine. And then you can browse the gallery just by selecting search and find a specific uh, item that you may need. The other way that you can quickly search the gallery is by clicking on the gallery folder and you can see that it's broken down into many different subfolders and even when you're searching within these folders they're broken down into folders so if you really are looking for something specific you can search within each one and you can see down at the bottom uh, the gallery is categorized into several different tabs you have pictures interactive multimedia notebook files and pages, and backgrounds and themes. I want to go through each one of these and show you exactly how you can pull these items onto the page. So the first one is your pictures tab. To open it up, just click once on it, and you can see this opens up all of your pictures. These are in alphabetical order, so if you scroll down, you can see alphabetical order. When you find an image that you want, just drag and drop it onto your work area. Just left click over it and drag it on. You can also double click on an image and it will also pop it onto your work area. So very simple to be able to drag those pictures on. I'm going to scroll back up and close my pictures tab. The second tab is your interactive multimedia tab. Click once on it to open it up. If I scroll down you can see that these are also in alphabetical order. You have three different things that you'll find here. You have audio clips, you have flash objects, and you have video clips. These work the same way. To bring any of these onto the work area, just drag and drop just like you do your pictures. Your audio clips have a small audio icon down at the bottom. If you, if you press it, it will play the audio file that's attached to it. Your flash objects work the same way. If you find a flash object that you want to use, just drag it onto the work area. You can see that you have a lot in there. Just drag it and then click and your flash object will work. You also have video clips. Scroll down and see if we can find a quick video clip to pull on. And again, you can resize this. You're usually going to have a play option down in the bottom corner that will allow you to play your video clip. I'm going to close the interactive multimedia tab. The next one that you'll see is your Notebook Files and Pages tab. Click on it to open it up. And all of these you can see have this little dog ear up at the top corner, so the top corner of the page is folded down. These will actually insert onto your entire page. So if I double click on these, you can see it's going to come on into my entire notebook page. And now I can add pictures on top of it or I can write on top of it. The last option that you're going to see is your Backgrounds and Themes tab. If I click once on it, it opens it up. Again, these are in alphabetical order. When you find a theme that you like, just double click on it and it's going to ask you where you want to insert the theme. I'm going to select Insert Theme on Current Page and hit OK. And you can see that my theme is placed on the background of this particular page. That's all the time that I have for today. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions or if you want to contact us, you can email me at kparayatpproducts.com. Call us at 212-736-6350. Or you can visit our website at presentationproducts.com.